Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yesterday I was at the Alcohol and Drug Recovery Center. Today I am here at the Diabetes Center. <laughs> so today is quite different. I'm going to teach you how to inject insulin in your tummy. So keep on watching. For you out there who's been injecting insulin in your tummy for long periods of time, this will be easy for you. But this is just basic. This is most especially to those people who are curious on how people with diabetes who's injecting insulin, you know, inject insulin into the tummy. Or for those people who are newly diagnosed and who needs insulin as part of their medication regimen. So I'm going to teach you now how to inject insulin in your tummy. It's very easy to follow. So this is a sample insulin. Okay. Most of the insulin now looks like this. We call this one insulin pen. Let me go through with you the parts of an insulin pen. So you can see a window there. Oh yeah. You can see a window with number and then with an arrow pointing to that number. You can actually change the number. So you get the arrow there pointing pointing um, towards this window and you can see numbers right so the numbers will, are actually your insulin dose right so depending on your dose especially with this one this is a long acting insulin this is optician okay this is one of those common long acting insulin usually the starter dose of optician is 10 units so you're just gonna dial it using this at uh, the head of the pin um, to number 10 there you go. So the arrow is pointing at number 10. Okay, so that's your dose, 10 units of insulin. That's all you're going to do. All right, and then there's also the expiry date, the manufacture date, and then expiry date. So you need to make sure that the, the, you need to actually check the expiry date because sometimes pharmacies will give you the expired one because, you know, they forget to restock their you know, the insulin. So you have to make sure that it is not expired. Okay. You need to make, you need to check the expiry date. And then this is the, this is the, the cap. So you get rid of that cap. That is the insulin there. Okay. It's transparent. So you're going to have to make sure that the insulin is actually transparent. Okay. All right. You shouldn't be seeing any particles floating. It should be clear and transparent. And then, so you've got your insulin pen you also have your needle. Usually the needle should be between uh, three and five millimeter. I'm using a five millimeter pen just for the purpose of demonstrating to you how to use or how to inject insulin in your tummy. So there's a paper covering. You need to get rid of that one by just pulling it out like that. And that's the pen there. It's very fine. You can't, can't, even, can't, can't even see it. It's very fine needle. All you need to do is just you just screw it like that. There. All right. Now get rid of the outer cap, this white one. Okay. Don't throw it away because you're going to use it later on to get rid of the needle once you've used it. And then you get rid of the inner cap, this one. This one you can throw away if you want. That is your needle there. Can you see it? It's very fine. It's very small. Okay, long time ago, the needles are very big and long. But because of the advancement of science and technology, they were able to, you know, to improve the needle. They were able to manufacture a fine needle like this for the patient's convenience. And not, not only that, there's a lot of people there who are needle phobic. So it will, this will help them a lot. Once you have it, set it, put it aside. Let's just pretend that this is my tummy. Okay, this is my tummy, all right? This is my tummy and I'll show you how to inject. 
So guys, this is my tummy. Make sure that your tummy is actually clean. So you have to make sure that when you inject insulin, it should be below your navel. Okay, below your navel. Okay, it should be here, below. You can go up to there or up to there, but it has to be below the navel. So let's just say this is my tummy. So you've dialed your insulin dose. That's 10 units. The arrow is pointing to number 10. That means 10 units your dose. And then you just inject it. You hold it like that. Okay. Your four fingers holding it like that. You need to make sure that you the window, the window is facing you so that you can see if you've given the whole dose, all of the dose. Because what you're gonna do with your thumb, the thumb we're gonna press the head part of the of the pen. So you just need to keep on pressing until number zero will appear on the window. Keep on pressing using your thumb until the zero number will appear on the zero or on the on the on the window. That means you've given yourself the full dose. So I'll just I'll just let the window face you so that you will see and you will know what I'm trying to say. So without doing any angles, without doing any angles before, you need to do angles, okay? Because the needles are bigger than this one. But because the needle is fine and small, you just inject it straight like that. So I'm gonna let the window face you so that you know what I'm trying to say. So you can see number 10 in the window. So you just inject straight away without any angle, inject without without doing any movement you need to inject keep on pushing the pen against your skin and then and then slowly inject until the number zero appears on the window there you go so you can see number zero and then after that you need to count one to one to five to ensure that there's no insulin leaking out from the needle itself and that's it you've given yourself the the full dose of 10 units of insulin and then you pull the needle out there you go all right so now you've given yourself the full dose of insulin that easy remember when i told you not to throw the outer white cup away because you need it to get rid of the needle. The needle is only a once off use. You don't use the needle twice because there is a risk of infection. Just put the cap back on like that and then just unscrew. It helps you protect your, your, your finger as well from accidental, accidental pricking. So it's, it's very important to use the outer cap and not to throw it away. So and unscrew, there you go. No more needle and it's safe. Put the cap back on. Now, if you don't put the insulin in the fridge, it's only good for 30 days, regardless of the expiry date. If you put the needle in the fridge after each use, then it is good until it expires. So, um, but if you have large dose of, you know, insulin, then probably you don't need to because you will consume, you will consume all of it less than maybe less than a month so you don't need to but if you only give yourself you know small dose small amounts of insulin then and then if you think that it will take you more than a month to to consume or to finish the insulin then put it in the fridge especially if you're traveling so now with the needle please don't throw it in a normal bin there is a high risk that people will actually get needle prick especially the ones who are collecting garbage okay my suggestion to you is you can go to your local council and ask for a sharps container. Usually it's color, colored yellow, but if you don't have time to go to your council or, or if your council has run out of a sharps container, you can just go to your kitchen and have a look at uh, any empty container, okay? And just label it as sharps. Then you can actually make it as a sharps container. Once it's full, you can just drop by at your local doctor's clinic and ask them to empty it for you. Okay, the main thing here is that you don't throw a sharps or needle in a normal bin. And then obviously, if you are on insulin, if you are on medication, please don't forget to keep on checking your sugar levels at home. It is also 
um, very important for you to monitor your own sugar levels at home. And if you see that there is a rise of your sugar level at home, then that's the time you go and see your doctor again and have your medications reviewed because that means medication is probably not enough for you to manage or control your sugar levels. That's it for now. Thank you for listening. I hope you've learned something and I shall see you again on my next video. Bye.